Hi everyone, my name is Matt Raymond. I am the lead aerodynamic research expert here at NYB. I have a PE in mechanical engineering, and today I'm gonna to answer one of the most common questions about centrifugal fans and blowers, and that is, how does a backward inclined fan behave when it's operated in the rotation opposite of its intended design? Today we're at the NYB Research and Test Facility located in LaPorte, Indiana. This is an AMCA 210 accredited lab, AMCA being the Air Movement and Controls Association International. And AMCA defines rotation as viewed from the drive side, and it is in the direction in which the volute expands. For our demonstration today, we're gonna to look at a size 33 ACF, which is an MYB airfoil bladed fan. And this is mounted on a figure 12 test chamber, which is a forced draft outlet test. Let's start our test by running the fan in its correct design rotation clockwise. During the test, multiple measurements are taken, and these are used to determine points of flow, pressure, and power at a specific speed and test density. And these combined points are used to establish fan curves. Now let's see what happens when we run the fan backwards and take similar measurements. Once we have both curves established, we can compare them and see that the fan operating in reverse has a reduction in flow, pressure, and power. Even though the rotation of the fan is now reversed, as you can see from the streamers on the outlet of the fan, the direction of flow from inlet to outlet is still maintained. In summary, a fan operating in the opposite rotation of the intended design will still move air in the expected path from inlet to outlet, albeit a reduced flow, pressure, and power consumption when compared to the fan operating in the correct rotation. For this reason, determining that the flow direction through a centrifugal fan is correct is not the proper way to determine that rotation is correct. In order to confirm rotation, it's best to bump start the fan and confirm that the rotation follows the expansion of the scroll. Thanks so much for watching. If you have any questions or you have any topics that you'd like us to cover in the future, please be sure to add a comment in the section below.